Let's talk about what the trolley problem has to do with monitoring. There are two train tracks. On the first track, there's five people. And on the other track, there's just one person. And there's a train that's coming toward those five people. It's gonna hit them and they're all gonna die. But then you notice that there's a switch right next to you. And if you just throw that switch, five people will be saved. But you will send the train toward the one person and they'll die. And would that make you the hero or a villain? So write in the comments what you would do. And then we'll come back to the trolley problem in just a minute. Now at a high level, this thought experiment examines how you would look at a problem and process information. Or put another way, it looks at what you plan to happen and then what happens as a result of your plan. And this is exactly what we do in monitoring. Monitoring, just by a definition, means to observe and to check the progress or quality of something over a period of time. So without monitoring, you won't know when things break, and when they break, you won't know how to find the issue, and when you find that issue, you wouldn't even know how to solve it. And if you can't solve it, you can't prevent it from happening again. And the way that this usually ends up working is you build your application first, and then you plan how you want to monitor your app resources and your data flow. And then you don't just walk away, you need to know what happens as a result of your actions. And you'll also know if your monitoring is giving you all the info that you need. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the Serverless 360 dashboard, and this is a third-party application monitoring tool outside of Azure. And here we have a fleet management application along with several others. And if we just click on that app, we can see down here in the messaging service, we've got a problem. So you're already ahead of the game. You've got your application all mapped out here right in front of you, and then you can see your issues at a glance. So let's click on the booking handler, and then you can see all of the details, including the errors right over here. And Serverless 360 gives you all of this out of the box with no additional cost. Now, what if you were to try to do this same thing from the Azure portal? Of course, you'd first need access to the portal to begin with, and then you'd have to go through and check your resources one by one to see where the problems are. Or you could set up log analytics and diagnostic settings and send all that data over there. Or you could take this a step further and build and configure application insights. And that would be the closest Azure native tool to what Serverless 360 can do. But that's gonna be a whole lot of work to set that up, create all your dashboards, put all your resources in the right place, set up all the communication flow, and then of course, setting up all your monitoring and alerting. Not to mention the fact that there are multiple costs involved in doing this, like ingesting the data, data retention, and then alerting, as well as several limitations you need to be aware of, especially on the alerting side. And just like in the trolley problem, you have two choices. Would you let the train kill five people or just one? And in the monitoring space, you have to decide if you want to pay the price multiple times or just once. So if you get your app all set up in Serverless 360, setting up monitoring is pretty easy too. You can just click right over there on the monitoring profiles. And these are templates for your monitoring. So let's click on the booking management and then just click next on the first screen. And over here on the left, you can see every resource in this application. And there's about 70 of them here. And in the middle, you have two different kinds of things that can be monitored. At the top, we have the status, which are the basic health checks of the app. And in the bottom section, we have the metrics, which is the basic performance data. And all of the metrics here are pulled for each individual resource from their Azure components, which means that you have access to all the same data that you would have in the Azure portal without giving up anything. And for each of those metrics, you can set up the warnings and error thresholds. Now, monitoring itself is only part of the solution you need to get notifications when something goes wrong. And on Azure, we do this through alerts and then sending SMS messages or emails or posting to something like ServiceNow. And every one of those alerts that you fire has some cost attached to it. But here in Serverless 360, all of that's part of the package. And the cool thing when you do this in Serverless 360 is it will consolidate all of the resource alerts across your application into a single email and then it'll just give you all that info at once, which is going to keep your inbox clean and simplify troubleshooting. And it looks something like this. You have the status of every single resource, including where the trouble spots are. And that's gonna make troubleshooting a breeze. So what is the right answer to the trolley problem? 
Well, you're going to have to battle that out in the comments down below, because philosophers and psychologists have been examining how people think about situations like this for years. Now, as a result of watching this video, you should dive deeper into monitoring with distributed tracing right over there. And happy learning.